diagnostic testing power in the size of a postage stamp. Believe it, I have Dr. Una Ryan with me now, and she is going to explain how this test works. It's so small, you're the CEO of Diagnostics for All, and with that size, physical size of a test, it truly is diagnostics testing for all. So tell me how it works, Dr. Ryan. Well, it's really based on the amazing powers of paper. So this is made of paper, and you know that if you spill your coffee or your wine on your newspaper, it spreads out. So what we've done here is print channels, and we call them microfluidic channels, onto the paper so that it doesn't spread out in a blob, but it goes down and um, the blood, urine, saliva, sweat, tears, will run to these little reservoirs where we have pre-spotted reactants that will change color if you have uh, damage to your liver in this case. Okay, let's just hold it there for one moment while we continue talking about this. How did the actual technology get built in this in the first place? You said it was only two years in, in research or much longer than that? Well, the technology came from the laboratory of Professor George Whitesides, who's a chemist at Harvard, and uh, we at Diagnostics for All have licensed it exclusively from Harvard, and we had one scientist working on it for about a year. I joined um, in January uh, a year ago, and now we have about 10 people working for us. We've got some new Gates funding. We've got some corporate partnerships and uh, we're ready to test in the field now. Terrific. So this is going to Africa and India immediately. And when you take it to Africa and India, who, what communities of people will you be bringing it to? And what are you testing for? Well, this is uh, primarily designed for point of care, meaning the yes. patient themselves can be empowered to manage their own health and compliance. So it's designed for rural communities where they're visited only by a health worker, say on a bicycle, yeah. who has to carry everything in a backpack. So it has to be very easy to use, portable, and safely disposable. Yes. Um, initially, we will test in hospitals and clinics because we want to be sure it works as well as um, hospital tests would in those countries. We've tested it in the US in one of the big hospitals in Boston, the Beth Israel. Yes. Uh, so we know it's uh, very comparable, very and accurate. accurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but ultimately, we want it to go to everybody who needs it. It costs one three hundredth of a cent to make. To make. Sort of wow. unbelievably cheap. Incredible. And it's made by printing. Okay. Now, in terms of these point-of-care technologies, extremely important because a lot of the villages that you visit have very little access to regular care. Well, so once they find out, people find out at what stage of a disease they might be at, they will know then what to do. Is that correct? Yes. There are two things here. We, this particular one is for liver function. So if you already know you're HIV positive or TB positive and you're lucky enough to be on drugs, unfortunately mm -hmm. those drugs do damage the liver of some people. So there's a very easy response. You come off that drug and go on to another one. But if there should be a question, um, one of the beauties of this is it's all telemedicine compatible. So you can take um, a camera phone, any, any brand, mm -hmm and take a picture of it and email it to a robot computer or a clinic and you can get a second opinion and it also means you get a permanent record and means we can track diseases all yes. over the world. And save lives with Absolutely. this. Um, has there been discussion about how many lives can be saved by getting this test to the right people so that they can be on the right medication at the right time? Well, we're talking millions, and of course, we haven't really even begun to break the back of some of the really big diseases like malaria. Um, we chose uh, to do this liver function first because we actually didn't want to have a test which would tell someone for the first time that they had an incurable disease. We wanted there to be a very inexpensive, easy response to um, knowing what the result of our test was. But we can do things like pregnancy testing, mm -hmm. glucose testing, and one of the beauties is that you can multiplex. That means that you could 
say, bring in a child with a fever and you didn't know what caused the fever, and instead of just saying it is or it isn't malaria, you could uh, discover which of five possibilities, likely diseases, uh, the child had. All right. Dr. Ryan, amazing technology and with so much promise. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Mabel Jong. You're watching continuing coverage of the World Healthcare Congress in Washington, D.C.